Rice Defender, director of the Institute for Peace and Democracy, Leila Yunus, held a press conference at the office of the organization in connection with the country's inept human rights protection system. Leila Yunus proclaimed a new advocacy strategy, not bowing to the government. Moreover, head of the IPD announced establishment of a center of resistance to repression with an aim of taking real steps in this field. She called on the former Polka prisoners and family members of Polka prisoners to join the center. Leilainus made clear the reasons of setting up the center. She stated that law enforcement agencies and judiciary are not independent and investigations are falsified in the country. On June 9th, the Nasimi District Court, under the chairmanship Shailela Hasanova, heard journalist Raif Mirkader's complaint over denial of access to notary. The arrested journalist wanted to sign a power of attorney for Turkish lawyers to protect his rights in Turkey. According to the journalist lawyer Elmar Suleyman, the court rejected the appeal. Defense also filed a motion for trying Mirkaderov in absentia, which was dismissed by the court. Note that Rav Mirkaderov, correspondent of Baku Bay Zirkola newspaper, was arrested by Eminence employees on April 19th after being deported to Baku from Turkish capital city Ankara, where he had been living since 2010. He is charged under Article 274 Treason of the Criminal Code. Nasimi District Court has ordered him to serve three months of pretrial detention. On June 10, a group of ex-deputies held a press conference at the Media Center of the IRFS due to the discrimination against deputies who signed the October 18, 1991 Act of Independence of Azerbaijan. Ex-deputy Hajibaba Azimov believes that there is threat to the independence of Azerbaijan, and as a source of this, he pointed to the pro-Russian officials of the authority. In his view, these people are against those who back independence, statehood and freedom. He added that in all countries except Azerbaijan, Independence Day is a day off. He blamed Deputy Hadira Jabli for excluding State Independence Day from whole day list. He further blamed Safam Rizayev, the chief of the staff of the Middle Majlis, for denying state pensions to deputies who participate in the Act of Independence. The U.S. Congressional Commission on Security and Cooperation in Europe on June 11 strongly urged the Azerbaijan government to fulfill its obligations on human rights and democracy instead of heading further towards authoritarianism. We consider Azerbaijan an important friend and partner in the region, and that means we care deeply about its development, said the chairman of the commission, Senator Benjamin Cardin. Along with the problems on freedom of media and association, last two years have marked high number of errors and convictions of actors, harassment on political motivated charges, and announcement of verdicts. Our concern is that rather than working to live up to its commitments in the OSC and the Council of Europe, Azerbaijan is instead heading towards greater authoritarianism. We want to work with Azerbaijan to change this trend, he added. The hearings in Helsinki Commission is important because the representative staff of the Congress is getting ready to the bilateral meetings and the session of the OSC Parliamentary Assembly. Deputy Assistant Secretary of State Thomas Meli, who was refused to enter Azerbaijan last September, underlined the importance of dialogue on democracy between two countries. He added that the best way to guarantee the stability is to respect strengthening of democratic processes and institutions, rule of law and fundamental freedoms. According to Meli, a situation in Azerbaijan on freedoms of citizens has has deteriorated in the last five years and continues worsening. Speaker Miriam Lanskoy, director for Russian Eurasia National Endowment for Democracy, noted that Azerbaijan was about to host the OSC Parliamentary Assembly at the end of June. Despite participation in these international forums, over the last decade freedoms in Azerbaijan have declined substantially. Overall, the country has gone from semi-free to state of consolidated authoritarianism. On June 12, the Supreme Court Collegium on Administrative Economic Cases heard a cassation appeal on violation of Tolisha Sada newspaper editor Hilal Mamadou's presumption of innocence by the Minister of Internal Affairs and the Prosecutor General's Office. The hearing was chaired by the chairman of the Collegium, Kemal Adin Bedalov. Supreme Court partially granted the appeal, referring the case to the Baku Appeal Court for review. Note that Tolisha Sada newspaper editor Hilal Mamadou was sentenced to five years in prison on September 28, 2013 by the order of the Baku Grave Crimes Court on charge of illegal possession of drugs in large quantities, treason and incitement to national, racial, social and religious hatred and hostility. On June 13, hearing was held on the case of human rights actors, head of the Genja based Intelligence and Enlightenment Center, Hassan Hussein Lee, in Genja Stenizami District Court. The process was chaired by Judge Ayaz Mahmoudov. According to the lawyer Elchin Sadagov, victim Arzu Gehramanov and policeman Nazim Hajev gave testimony at the proceeding. 
Arzu Gehramanov in his testimony confirmed being stabbed by Hassan Husseinli. He added that Husseinli stabbed him by the instruction of foreign organizations. Husseinli is charged with stabbing his neighbor Arzu Gehramanov. Genjest the main police office has opened a criminal case under Article 221.3 of the Criminal Code, hooliganism committed with use of weapon. A restraining order has been imposed on Husseinli, which requires him not to leave his town of residence without permission while under investigation.